Welcome to a2zknowledge.com. So today we are going to see how to uh, deploy a JSP or any web application with respect to Java in Tomcat as a war file. That's what we are going to discuss today. So what exactly a war file is? A war file we call it as web archive. That is an archive for a web application. We have something called JAR which we call it as Java archive. So with respect to the real world, whatever the Java programs you write, you have to pack it as a package and you have to give it to the team who run it. So we need to pack it. So it's not like right click run as Java application that we can able to do uh, that we can do for testing purpose. But finally, when we build a project in a Java, we have to make it as JAR. So something like that, we have uh, a war file concept in Java for web application, especially. The var file is combination of multiple JSP files, HTML files, XML files, and uh, many servlet libraries and all these into one package. We have to deploy it in any one web server to get our web application. So with respect to Java world, if it is uh, with respect to non web application part, it's a jar file. If it is a web application part, we have to go with var file. It's an archival kind of thing. So I have a separate video for what exactly a jar file and how exactly it will be used in a real world situation with the two use cases I have given a two videos and that link also it is there in the description box you can able to find. So today I'm going to show you with a sample web application with the JSP and how to create that as a var file and how to deploy that in a web server. That's what I'm going to show you today. So in Eclipse like I have created a uh, dynamic web project. I am using Java J2W Eclipse. You can download the same. If you are using older version of Eclipse, you have to configure all this web application package manually. So now how to create a dynamic web project file new. You can see something called dynamic web project or you can choose other and you can search for D dynamic. So you will get it. So I created a project and you can see this is the folder structure of the uh, dynamic web project and I am not using any build tool to show this example. So I'm not using any build tools. So the, whatever the JSP or an HTML pages you have to create under this web content folder, just right click new JSP or HTML or CSS, anything you want, you have to create it under this. So I created two JSP pages index.jsp and next page.jsp. And then I'm, I have added, there is a lib folder, it's already exists. Just you need to add a servlet jar into this lib folder. Okay. So uh, not all the cases it required. If you get any error with respect to your index or uh, means sorry with respect to your JSP pages, then you can add this servlet.jar. So it can be uh, you can download this from internet. Many sites has these jar files. You just download and add to the lib folder. After adding this, what you have to do is you just need to configure the build path. So right click properties and you can see build path then choose libraries and you can see I have already added. So I just remove it just to show you from first. So add jar. So expand and click web content and where you can see the lib folder. If you have already added, you can't able to see this folder second time when you do. Okay. So that's why I just deleted it. So add. Okay. And then give finish. Okay. So I just added in the builder path. If you get an error, you have to do this extra step or else it's not required. I created two pages index.jsp and next.jsp. So in index.jsp, I just I'm just saying like just welcome. And then I have a link where if I click it has to go to next page.jsp and my next page.jsp is here, which has a, just a content called next page. That's it. Now how to export this? That's what we are going to see. I'm going to export this as a var file. So right click export var file. So and you can give some destination for your var file. So I just give my desktop as my destination finish. Now you created a var file so we can check in the desktop. Yeah, I have my var file. Now what you have to do this war file is you have to deploy this war file in your web server. So I'm going to show you with Tomcat as an example. So Tomcat is my web server. So just copy this war file. Go to your Tomcat folder. So in, in software, I have my Tomcat. I just extracted it. It's a zip file. You will download, you will get a zip file. Extract it and go to web apps folder. So if you see, this is a folder structure of your uh, web server Tomcat. In that, you have to open this web app and just paste this var file. That's all. So you want to deploy this like this. Just paste it. Now go to your command prompt. And just go to the same path you can see I'm using 6.0 as my Tomcat version you can use any version 6, 7, 8. Now here you can see in the Tomcat sorry in command prompt I'm in the same directory I'm inside a bin directory of this. Now I'm going to start this uh, server Tomcat so just run this command that's all. 
so now my tomcat server is get started see once it gets started you can see now my war file is got extracted and it got a folder here now my tomcat has started extracting the folder of my project and start reading all the information which it has now go to your browser now just go to your browser and just type localhost uh, I, I have started my tomcat web server with localhost as an host name and 8082 as a port number okay default it will come with 8080 but i am using 8082 okay then slash what is your uh, war name means not exactly the war name so after deploying the war now you got this folder right you have to type this folder name okay so demo war it's already there in my history so i just click this one see now i got the welcome page with click here option if i click this it goes to the next page that's all so now you have completed your web application finalized and now it has been created you have to create as a var file and you have to deploy it in the production now thing is if you want to do any changes in the code again you can't able to edit the var file you have to edit in the code and then again you have to recreate the var and again you have to deploy it so then what you have to do is export then first of all you have to stop your uh, you need to shut down your tomcat then you have to delete this war file and this folder then you have to deploy the war file new war file again and again you have to start okay so uh, this is a kind of a final step we can do but for each and every testing purpose we can't able to do this for each and every time right so in the testing purpose uh, how people will do is they will just run inside eclipse itself so in eclipse i'm going to show you how to configure tomcat so that you don't want to create a war file for each and every time Maybe it's out of topic, but the thing is that you need to know as part of this video, you have to need to, you need to know that also. So for that, what you have to do is uh, first you have to go for window show view in the show view, click other and just type for server. You will get it. just give OK so that here you will get the server tab. Then you can see no server available. Click this and you can configure your server. So I'm going to use uh, tomcat 8 okay i'm choosing tomcat 8 then give next and then here you have to choose your tomcat installation directory you have to download tomcat 8 from internet extract it and keep it somewhere and browse it and then just give finish next finish now what you have to do is right click your project run as run on server that's all it is so now you can see uh, my console gets some logs and see my web page is coming inside my eclipse so now i just refresh it okay so now i am getting the same page welcome if i just give click here yeah next page now if you want to do any changes in the code that you can do so i am just saying welcome to a2zknowledge.com okay save the code then go back to your page and just come back to my home index.jsp just give refresh see i'm not creating an war file i'm not even doing again run as uh, server i'm not even giving again run as just i come and refresh so for your development activity for your testing activity you can deploy your tomcat inside your eclipse and you can do all these activities but finally when you give it as a code they can't able to run you have to give it as a war file so that they will deploy it in the server okay so uh, that's all with respect to this video and thanks for watching a 2 zknowledgecom If you really like this video, subscribe my channel. Please forward this to your friends and colleagues. We have many videos, uh, technology videos in our a 2 zknowledgecom uh, We provide videos in two languages, English and Tamil. Thanks for watching a 2 zknowledgecom